As the number of physical and virtual nodes increases, the growing networking traffic poses significant challenges to scalability and congestion management. These are the kind of challenges that NVIDIA's interconnect solutions aim to tackle. Their key features include LinkX solution reaches range from half a meter to several kilometers, low bit error ratio, or BER. Lab equipment is used to test all LinkX products to ensure their quality. Now let's go over the products. First, all LinkX product families come in several metal plug form factors. The plugs are inserted into switches and PCIe adapter cards used in compute and storage subsystems. They differ based on physical size, the number of lanes each one provides, and the maximum speeds. QSFP, or quad, four-channel, small form factor, pluggable form factors are backwards compatible with slower rated form factors. The QSFP DD, double density, and Octal OSFP use eight channels and may have one or two optical connectors called a dual port connector. Supported protocol rates are QSFP28, providing up to 100 gigabits per second, QSFP56 with up to 200 gigabits per second, and QSFP112 with up to 400 gigabits per second. QSFP DD and OSFP can operate at data rates of up to 400 gigabits per second and 800 gigabits per second with 2 by 400 port connectors. All LinkX equipment is rigorously tested in a lab to ensure high quality prior to shipment. This guarantees an out-of-the-box reliable operation. LinkX interconnect cable jackets are made according to the LSZH material classification, meaning they are safe for use during fire hazards and emit limited amounts of smoke. These solutions also offer low BER or bit error rate. This is crucial for providing a high level of data integrity. Now for the specific product lines under LinkX. We'll begin with Direct Attach Copper Cables, or DACs for short. DACs consist mainly of shielded copper wires. A tiny memory chip inside the cable contains configuration information. The copper cables contain layers of metal foil and mesh wire shielding to prevent interference with other devices. The DAC's power dissipation peaks at 0.1 watts and only from the configuration chip. This makes DACs ideal for linking servers to memory and storage subsystems as they consume nearly zero power. Finally, DAC length varies between 0.5 meters and up to about 5 meters depending on the data speed. Active copper cables, or ACCs, are DACs containing signal booster ICs, active elements, in the cable ends. The ACC's power dissipation is higher than the DAX. It peaks at about 1.5 watts per end for 8 channels and 0.3 watts for a 4x splitter end. And the ACC's are a little less than twice as long as DAX and enable up to 5 meter lengths. For distances much greater than DAX and ACC's, NVIDIA also offers active optical cables or AOC in short. AOCs transfer data using optical signals converted to and from electrical signals at their ends, making transmission fast and reliable over long distances. In fact, AOCs may reach lengths of up to 100 meters and can span small data centers and link system racks together. The fiber in AOC cables makes them much lighter than copper cables. While higher than DACs and ACCs, the AOC's power dissipation is still considered efficient, peaking at 4.44 watts max for 200 gigabits per second AOCs per end. It's worth noting that all these interconnect categories also have a variety of 1 to 1, 1 to 2, or 1 to 4 splitter cables of various form factors. Finally are optical transceivers, which means transmitter and receiver. Transceivers are pluggables of various form factors that support a variety of data rates. Form factor plugs allow various cabling equipment to be plugged into a module that runs on either an 850 nanometer or a 1310 nanometer infrared wavelength. They can reach up to a whopping 40 kilometer range, depending on transceiver type. Single mode fiber keeps the data pulses neatly arranged and is used by the telecom industry to link San Francisco to Hawaii. In data centers, it's used to span entire data centers and link campuses together. Multimode optics is much less expensive to deploy, but the data signals scatter, limiting the lengths to 100 meters. It's used predominantly to link switches together. QSFP transceivers make use of newer standards. The multimode 850 nanometer wavelength, short reach 4 channel or SR4 transceivers are the most popular in the data center due to their low cost and adequate reach for most applications. The data center reach 4 channel, DR4, 
is similar to the SR4 using only single mode 1310 nanometer wavelength fibers, but it can reach up to 500 meters. The Far Reach 4 channel, FR4, combines four different laser wavelengths into a single fiber and filters it out at the receiver end. It uses only two single mode fibers for reaches up to two kilometers. The Long Reach 4 channel, LR4, is similar to the FR4 but can reach 10 kilometers. The ER4 transceiver has a reach of up to 40 kilometers. Many other variants exist and support various optical connectors. For a full list, please consult the product catalog under Link X section of the NVIDIA website, nvidia.com. To conclude, Link X solutions provide the benefits of low power dissipation and bit error ratios and reliable operation, which is especially important in high bandwidth, intense artificial intelligence computing. They come in many different form factors, of which some are compatible, while others can be converted. The product line offers a complete range between 0.5 meters and 40 kilometers, depending on the solution used. Thank you for watching.